Bye, Pav. Miss you. Hey, feeling good, like I should. When in Durku, walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Miss you. Bye, buddy. Bye. Although I was super excited for our trip to Vietnam, it was also difficult for me to say goodbye to Pav. He would be staying with our friends Emily and Talk, who were driving us to LAX. I knew he would be in good hands, but a part of me also felt a little sad leaving him behind. I wish he could go to Asia too, but it would just be too difficult and also just a little bit too hot. Oh fuck yeah, dude! Yeah. Anybody with like any sort of status or power. How much stuff do you have? Like, no, I don't have a lot. Not 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 a lot. Eat lots of fiber. Yeah. No diarrhea. No diarrhea. I'm always thankful to have good friends like Emily and Talk. Thank you. Got it? Yeah. So after getting dropped off, we met up with my parents at LAX. It's kind of a lot, you guys. I don't know. Lights are anxiety provoking. From there, we checked in our baggage and got our boarding passes. Huge shout out to Anthony for helping with our big luggage and carrying all the weight during this trip. I know it got heavy and I know it got hard and we're grateful for your help. At least we're here early. There's no line. I know. Look at this. No line. Because we're... Just like how you should arrive to the airport four hours early, you should be subscribing to our YouTube channel right now. Subscribe right now. Subscribe right now. Subscribe right now. <laughs> Jesus, say it one more time. <laughs> wow, this nose looks big. TSA is one of my least favorite things about traveling through an airport. It just seems very stressful and no one has fun doing it. Ooh. No, that's not ours. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, so oh, you are. <laughs> Bub. So Asian. I know. I love it. <laughs> I was like, I'm about to drop 20 bucks on airport food, but no. Trans mom came. Hey. Hey, sorry, thank you. Thank you. The best part about traveling with Asian parents is that they always have some food handy. No need to eat that shitty airplane food or spend lots of money at the airport. Thank goodness for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go to the airplane country on a cucumber? <laughs> You might as well be chewing carrots. Since going away to college, I only get to see my parents every once in a while, so it's really nice to be able to travel with them again. One of my favorite things to do is to look through Duty Free and some of the gift shops at the airport with my dad. It's our way of spending some quality time together, and I love it. Three ninety. <laughs> <laughs> Book selection. Surprised you're not going for like a Freud, Sigmund Freud book. <laughs> Just kidding. No sunglasses. Where are they? Go bad up. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> After scavenging the airport for free samples, we finally headed on board to our flight to Vietnam. This is footage of my mom attempting to teach Anthony some Vietnamese. Fun fact, Anthony actually took Vietnamese for a year at UCLA, but is too shy to use it. But he knows his stuff. <laughs> Stop picking my dad off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you guys excited? Huh? Excited? <laughs> yeah? No, you ready? I'm yeah. ready, yeah. Ready, D? You know? The Vietnam, oh my god. Yeah, man! It is 2.14. I wonder what the cabin's up to. PM? Oh, wow. It's 2 PM. I see Anthony's luggage with his little dugaman.
Getting off the plane is by far the worst part about traveling. I want to be a pilot, but I don't have 20-20 vision. <laughs> so we arrived in Guangzhou, China for our layover. Another security check. So I almost got my metal boba straws taken away because I guess, I think they were trying to dictate if it was sharp enough to be a weapon. Um, but I think, I don't really speak Chinese. I don't um, really speak but Chinese. But they were, I kind of speak Chinese, but they were like trying to touch it to see if it was sharp enough and they're examining it and talking to each other whether or not they're gonna take it away because I think it can be used as a weapon. But I almost got my boba taken away, so I was like, it's for boba. And they were like, oh, it's a straw. I mean, like, what are you gonna do with a straw? Anyway, I didn't get it taken away. We're just trying to save the planet. And it's about a two or three hour layover here. We shopped around, looked at some Chinese snacks. We even checked out a Chinese McDonald's menu and they had rice porridge, which was really cool because I love rice porridge. We didn't end up getting it because we weren't that hungry, but it was cool to look at the menu. Different types of porridge, three different types. How much is a hash brown? I got this porridge at about like a dollar fifty. Dollar fifty, that's so good. Dollar menu. Oh. Yeah, about a dollar. Dollar, wow. Um, oh, they have hash browns. What's this? Some Chinese. What is that? Oh my god. And then we headed on our next plane. It was a short stop, and yeah. After an 18 hour travel day, we finally arrived in Cam Run. More to come soon, but thank you for traveling to Vietnam with us. We hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and remember to subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss another one of our videos. We love you guys and hope you enjoyed the vlog. See you next time. Bye.